What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about four things that Modern Warfare 4 absolutely needs to do. Otherwise, I'm afraid that Infinity Ward will go up in flames. Modern Warfare 3 was the last good Infinity Ward game by far. Ghosts was okay, but it really signaled the beginning of the end for the Call of Duty franchise. It's kind of been downhill ever since with a couple of glimmers of hope with Black Ops 3. Um, but ultimately, you know, we haven't really seen a great Call of Duty in, in a while. Um, and I think, you know, if we see Infinity Ward release something that the community really hates and it performs poorly in terms of sales or, you know, microtransactions or down whatever metrics they use i'm afraid that we like what what are they going to do keep infinity ward around like if it's going to keep producing the absolute worst games in the franchise why would they keep doing that so i'm going to talk about four things that we need to have we need these things in modern warfare 4 like it's non-negotiable if this is going to be a fun game that not only makes initial sales but keeps players engaged for a long time it needs these four things and they're not really in any particular order uh, but the first one is going to be interesting and i want to say innovative maps right we need new maps and we need something new from them and you know if you look at black ops 4 and black ops 3 and infinite warfare and the past couple of call of duties what you're going to notice is that they are remastering so many maps from the original like trilogy right the original black ops 1 and 2 the original modern warfare 1 and 2 um we're seeing a lot of these remakes and remasters come out that are just dlc or even in the case of black ops 4 they were just packed in with the base game and we're not seeing any original maps that are as good they're not as captivating they're not as fun to play they're a lot more boring and dulled down and simple and basic and easy and safe right they're safe maps right they kind of follow the same formula that they think is acceptable to the community so that way the community won't hate them but they won't love them right all they're doing is mass producing forgettable maps and that's because they're all three lane very simple maps all rectangular new coat of paint and bada bing bada boom we got a whole new map right i want you guys to go back and play modern warfare 2 or modern warfare 1 or even modern, modern warfare 3 right play those maps and just look around at how big they are compared to today's maps i mean just look at the map estate on modern warfare 2 right technically you could say it's a three lane map because you can if you're starting at the bottom of the hill from that house that shed or garage or whatever you could take a left and go up the stairs up through like that little forest to like the docks or you could take a right and go up towards like the greenhouse right up those steps towards the greenhouse and come around the back side of the estate or you could go right up the center of the creek um, and you kind of go right towards the estate up the hill kind of three lanes right it's kind of three lanes um but it doesn't play anything like the new three lane maps in the later call of duties because there's different topography there's different corners of the map it's not a perfect like rectangle shape right there's different buildings to go in and different windows to hide in and things like that that make the map more dynamic and more diverse and it gives it replay value because it plays differently than a lot of other maps in the game and we're missing that right the fact that the developers continue to remake and remake master old maps is them agreeing that their older maps are better right when they release a new call of duty and it's filled with old maps what they're saying is these are the best maps that we've ever made and they're not the new ones right the best maps we've made are in the past here they are they're remade and with a fresh coat of paint we need new ones right like you can only remake these maps so many times before we need something new right what are you gonna do remake uh you know crash again or remake hijacked again or remake nuketown god forbid for the 15th time like we need something new right we need new maps that are on the same caliber as the old maps and we haven't been seeing that lately so we need that we need diverse maps that have random buildings and corners and things to go in right that would be nice i would like to see a map that doesn't flow perfectly that's what i want i want a map that just doesn't flow flawlessly that's okay it's gonna add some depth to the game it's gonna add something new to experience it's gonna be a, maybe a little slower map it's a little bit bigger that's fine right that's fine the next thing that i want to talk about is kill streaks we need good kill streaks that are relatively easy to get 
And that last part makes me sound like a huge noob, right? Like it sounds so newbie to be like, oh, just give me, give me kill streaks that are easy to get and they're really powerful, right? But the thing about that is if they're easy to get, then everybody on the map could potentially get them, which means that if you start getting bombarded by kill streaks, it's hard for you to get them. So it's not like everybody's going to be going super positive every game. It kind of balances out, right? And we haven't seen good kill streaks. Like you can, I'll argue with anybody. We haven't seen good kill streaks since like i don't know modern warfare 3 right like when when that was it we haven't seen good kill streaks in a long long time and you know some of the kill streaks in recent call of duties might be good but they take either way too many kills to get that it's just not gonna happen or it takes too many kills and you also only get to use it for 20 seconds or something like that right 10 seconds for a kill streak but you know if you work if you get a 17 kill gun streak and you're you're rewarded with a kill streak that should be the best in the game and it only gets you three kills like who cares it's not worth it right it's not worth it you might as well just run uav counter uav and something else some blackbird type of thing we need good kill streaks that are relatively easy to get because there's nothing more satisfying than getting a, a predator double kill that gives you a harrier that you can then use to get a chopper gunner or an ac-130 right like that that is the pinnacle of call of duty raining down explosive rounds on a map just destroying your competition that is what made a modern warfare 2 and 3 so much fun even black ops 1 had the the chopper gunner we had black ops 2 with the load star modern warfare 3 had the reaper and the ac-130 like we had some incredible kill streaks back in the day and those games sold the most copies that's when more people were playing call of duty more people were interested in the franchise and more people were having fun right everybody regards modern warfare 1 up until black ops 2 as the best call of duty years ever those are the best games in the franchise no one is disputing right your favorite call of duty is almost guaranteed to be one of those and it's one of the reasons why is because there were so many amazing kill streaks that even an average player could get once in a while so it was just it wh who thinks the like who doesn't like the chopper gunner right why have we not seen another chopper gunner why haven't we seen a chopper gunner for 12 kills like what's going on who who doesn't want to play with a chopper gunner like t t tell me now because nobody is saying that that they would prefer weaker streaks the only people who don't like strong streaks are maybe pro players which is fine just make them a playlist without kill streaks right problem solved and then the rest of us can still have fun with them and they would still have fun with them too when they play pubs so it's 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 a win-win to put in good kill streaks and don't even get me started on the tactical nuke and the moab right the tactical nuke is the reason that i got this gameplay right people are still playing modern warfare 2 because of the tactical nuke like that's why people keep playing and 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 that's what call of duty is 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 lacking they're not lacking the nuke kill streak per se they're lacking something that keeps players playing right the ma the past few years people have bought call of duty played it for a couple weeks and then dropped it right they went back to fortnite back to PUBG, back to you know league of Light, whatever they're playing they, they left call of duty went back to the other stuff because they got bored really fast we need something you know like a good kill streak or something that keeps players playing you know it's fun to get and it, it feels good and it is exciting and you're getting all these kills and you're winning games and like that's what we're missing people are playing modern warfare 2 10 years later to get a tactical nuke 10 years later and you can't make a call of duty that keeps people engaged for a month like dude it's right in front of you like we're showing you what we want by playing the older games like that's what we want and i think a good transition from those kill streaks right like these fast explosive just amazing kill streaks leads me to the next point which is time to kill we need a short time to kill in modern warfare 4 and before you guys get upset i'm not against slow time to kill right i'm i'm all for it i totally get why you would prefer that um it makes sense to me right but it seems to me that the black ops series has always had a little bit slower time to kill than the modern warfare series that seems to be the trend black ops one you had a slower time to kill maybe because it was the gun not really gun power but really like accuracy and stuff like that right same thing with black ops 2 right we have a slower time to kill and now with black ops 4 we have the slowest time to kill we've ever seen because you have 150 health plus you can regen the health like instantaneously so it's an, an a ridiculous time to kill right now so what i think would be nice is a balance right if some years we have a slower time to kill with the black ops series and then modern warfare comes around with a fast time to kill like that gives some variability right it feels like the call of duty plays a little bit differently and you're pleasing both crowds
crowds. You're pleasing the people who like fast time to kill and then the slow time to kill, right? And then it, Sledgehammer can be whatever they want. They could be in the middle, they could be fast or slow, whatever they, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, right? So like, let's try it, right? Like back in the day, one burst with the FAMAS, you're dead, right? If you hit all three bullets, it's over. The UMP, right? two three bullets close range it's over it's a fast rate of fire it's an instant kill right those guns are fun being able to turn on somebody who you know they weren't expecting you to turn on them just turning on them and melting them just if it's a it's a good feeling you feel like you're really good at the game even if you're not good right you at least feel like you're good or that you're getting better or something like that so a fast time to kill would be a nice change of pace from black ops 4 it would kind of go back to the roots of modern warfare 2 and 3 and it would pair nicely with some powerful kill streaks that let you just stomp on kids right like i just want to squish kids and i'll take a couple of l's right i'll take the losses where i get triple captain domination and i have a chopper gunner raining down on me i'll take that l a couple of games just so that way i could have my game my turn where i'm just destroying people right like i just want to completely obliterate people who aren't good like that's what i want and i think a lot of you guys feel the same because a lot of people like i said their favorite call of duty is anywhere from cod 4 to black ops 2 it's somewhere in that range and all those games had either good kill streaks fast time to kill or both right that's what we need the final thing the final thing that i want in modern warfare 4 that i feel like you absolutely need right is footstep volume footstep volume is important for many reasons uh one it is a differentiator between a good player and a bad player or an average player right it's a skill that you have to learn to use and learning that skill while it may be a painful growing process right like learning a new skill is not fun it will help players feel like they're getting better at the game right like they they'll notice oh wow like i'm getting better now that i've stopped and i'm listening to footsteps and using that to my advantage they're getting better at the game right it, it just makes sense like the more players feel like they're getting better they're more they're gonna keep playing if everybody's getting a 1kd every single game guarantee they'll quit the game and play something else because they're just bored they don't want to be average they want to sometimes be amazing and sometimes get better at the game and by adding in footstep volume it's another like thing to learn and people just get better at it right which is another with fortnite building right people play fortnite because not only is it gun skill but if you get good at building like now you're actually better than other players because you have this other skill that just makes it puts you above them right literally like you're actually above them but regardless um footstep volume is another thing and it can't just be good step volume right we, we need good step volume but it has to be louder than the map and louder than the characters yelling and louder than the kill streaks like you have to be able to hear footsteps all the time right it, it can't be like oh you can hear them but you know if you're in this corner of the map the generator you're standing next to is too loud and you can't hear it then like no we need to hear good clear footsteps all the time your teammates shouldn't be louder than the enemies right it should just be enemy footsteps you can hear them and your own right we also need a perk to counteract that because it does you don't want it to be too powerful right so you need a ninja perk to counteract that but that ninja perk using ninja should cost you something valuable in exchange right so like ninja and sleight of hand if they're in the same perk slot you now have to choose do you want to reload faster or be quieter right it's one or the other so now you have to decide do i want to play defensively or offensively right because that's really the difference if you're playing defensively you have some extra time to reload most of the time unless you're getting overwhelmed if you're playing oh if you're playing offensively you're running and gunning and you're gonna have to reload more than you're gonna have to you know hear footsteps because you're constantly moving anyway it gives you a choice and a trade-off and it's a meaningful choice right in these days you take you make the best create a class and then you copy and paste it to all the creative classes and then you change the weapon for every single one that's pretty much all it is like maybe a couple of equipment changes here and there but that's basically all that we've done for the past three or four call of duties we need to see some some creative different creative class choices that actually make a difference in the game and they have to be tied into things like footsteps right or even like juggernaut or stopping power like those kill streaks were so powerful that you really had you in order to balance them you have to pair them with things that are equally as powerful but call of duty has instead chosen to just remove them right no no juggernaut no stopping power everyone's the same and it's like okay that's fine but that's boring so we need good footstep volume and it has to come with a trade-off and there has to be a way to counteract it and i think that that will make players strive to be better it'll be a new skill for them to learn anyway with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i want you to comment down below telling me what you think modern warfare 4 needs in order for it to be a good game was i right did i miss the mark am i wrong let me know in the comment section below drop a thumbs up on the video if enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and if you think that i can provide you some sort of entertaining content then click that bell button otherwise don't worry about it 
about it it's totally cool i totally get it i don't like notifications either but if you think mine are worth it totally click the bell and that's a bit guys so thank you so much for watching i will talk to you guys again soon peace